facial expression practice. He looks like he's about to kill me in my sleep. Okay, I said I've had enough, but then I kept scrolling, but now I've, I've definitely had enough. You know what time it is. Sam roast me six. We got 7,700 posts. Thank you guys so much for joining. I appreciate you guys very much. To be honest with you guys, I've been shooting uh, for the past six hours. I've been standing at this table for uh, the entire day and my Cintiq fans are going crazy and so am I. So uh, no mercy for the babies today. Let's get right into it. Let's look at some of these pieces that you guys have submitted so far. That is beautiful. Okay, so I love how you did the highlight on the nose and this uh, area of the face right here you can really get a sense of the three-dimensionality that's that is a great looking graphite sketch on paper i love how you were able to capture you know the core shadows as well as the bounce light and the neck here you know it's just a a great great rendering of a giraffe i love your style that's all i gotta say i love your style it's so simple but so satisfying to look at it's got all the right colors you got the blue and the orange the complementary colors speaking of colors we're doing a tutorial in September on Patreon for color fundamentals. Look, it's nicely rendered, but like, who are, are, are you bloop? These are the people that bring out the best in you. Very wholesome caption, but I would like it a little bit more if you brought out the three-dimensionality in them. Listen, what I'm saying is, you know, instead of this uh, airbrushy effect on the bodies of the character, even if you don't want to render it, it would be a lot more effective if you just applied a flat color that's a little bit more confident. Because this here, you know, this effect with the airbrush makes it look incomplete, makes it look a little bit wishy-washy. That's usually something you don't really want to go for, okay? Speaking of incomplete, you've got a nice solid pose here, but where is the, uh, where's the where are the values? Where's the, where are the colors? What happened? Stop running away from your responsibilities, man. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. I love that. I love that turquoise and pink combination. Very powerful. Really nice piece. Look at that. I really like this. I love the uh, the colors that you use for this piece. It's all very harmonious. I think if I were you, and this might just be a personal preference thing, but uh, I would actually bring up the saturation on the sand here to make it look a little bit more golden. And uh, I would try to make the bounce light from the sand on the body even more apparent. I would add a hint of more saturation to the back just to really make that bounce light pop in this scenario and give it that feeling of strong sunlight hitting the subject and the ground. Otherwise, really good job. Two hours, 18 minutes, very fast. I don't like the fact that everybody is trying to speed run art now, but I guess that's what I've started. Okay, that's cool. This is a beautifully rendered piece. I really like the uh, light and the shadows that you use for the skin here. Um, but one thing that's jumping out at me, I'm not sure if this is present in the reference photo, but the right eye on the character is significantly higher than the left eye. I don't know if that's just how she's built. If it is, Great job capturing it. If not, uh, that might be something you want to look out for. If you're not sure how to spot these mistakes, just flip your canvas around and uh, you're going to be able to see some things that you weren't able to see before. Jesus Christ. Captain America, what happened to you? I can see this being in like a Captain America promoted uh, PSA. You know, Captain America coming in here like, hey kids, don't do drugs or you'll end up like this. Beautiful rendering. What I want to point out to you guys is look at the bounce light on the bottom side of the chin. Look at the lighting here hitting the white, uh, whatever it is, fuzzy thing that she's wearing and bouncing back up onto the chin. Well done. What is that? What is that? Not sure about this one. Yeah, no, me neither, man. What are those things? Am I gonna get demonetized by showing this? Facial expression practice. He looks like he's about to kill me in my sleep. I love that. I don't know if this is your style where you like to go for like a overall darkened kind of composition, but I would honestly like to see a bit more contrast uh, between the lights and the darks here. I know you, it looks like you kind of applied a filter over it, but when I was scrolling through the hashtag, I almost missed this piece because uh, everything's just kind of really muted, even though you have a lot of contrast in here. I would love to see you push that light a little bit more. Okay, good job with the rendering. I like that little light effect you put in the background. I don't know if that's like a reflection off of a glass surface or something, but that's pretty cool looking. What I want you to look out for is the shape of the head. Where is my... My. Now, I know you're going stylized, but if you're looking at a person's skull, uh, you're going to see that the top half, this big egg shape right here, is quite large compared to the bottom half. Even if you look at me, big brain in here, 
and a smaller bottom half. So looking at your character, I think what would make her look a little bit more natural is if you expanded the cranium on her. So make the head, the top of the head, a little bit bigger. I don't look at me like that. Stop it. Stop, 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 stop it. Stop this. Um, Q. That, <laughs> yep, that's me after looking at your guys' work. I'm just playing all of you guys. Oh, what's going on here, huh? Is this a uh, Russian roulette? Ooh, monkey. Oh, okay, there's the reference. Yeah, no, I think you captured this really nicely. Uh, you've got the bounce light on the bottom side of the brows. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, well done. Personally, I love to see artists doing a lot of self-portraits these days, playing around with blending layers. You know, I can see that. You did a great job with the light here really looks like it's glowing um but if i were in this boat with him looking at me like that i would jump out immediately dude i love this guy i uh one thing that's bothering me about this piece is the size of the face okay what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna cover up the entire face with my hand and i'm going to try to imagine a face there okay i'm imagining a face you guys can do this with me are you imagining a face okay imagine the size of the face on that character now take your hand away Oh my god, it's tiny. I recommend going back in there with some liquify since you've already got this whole thing rendered out. I wouldn't want you to repaint the whole thing, but just liquify it so that you expand the face a little bit. What in the world? Okay, I'm not sure if that is a leg or a rotisserie chicken drumstick. Um, what I would recommend for you is to look up some references for the anatomy of the character, okay? The deltoid here, there's not an enough triangular definition as it goes down into the bicep. And I think the taper of the forearm looks uh, a little bit rigid here because usually you get a little bit stronger of a taper towards the front of the wrist. I honestly just recommend looking up some anatomy references to uh, make the character's body look a little bit more realistic. Jesus, what's happening here? It looks like you tilted her left eye like inwards and you tilted the other eye inwards as well. It looks like the eyes are, they're almost alien looking. If I were you, I would tilt the outer corner of the eye down a little bit, extend the eyelashes out a little bit so that it looks like there's something behind that wraps around the eyeball so that it doesn't end so abruptly yeah you gotta you gotta spin those eyes back around a little bit because she looks kind of scary i always get nightmares after making these videos i love this i love the boldness with the light and the dark i love the contrast here the strong lighting and the way it uh, defines the form of the face good job all right okay Ooh. the worst enemies of a good smile are these Two wrinkles right here it adds like 10 years to the age of your character if not done correctly I would either tone this down or just take it out completely when they're too strong it's just it's freaky looking smile wrinkles and individual teeth are some things that you really want to watch out for when you're drawing oh my goodness oh. That's really nice. I love the light and the shadow that you uh, implemented here. The, I think the shoe here, it looks uh, a little bit jarring because it's lacking any kind of shading on the other side. But other than that, good job, really nicely done. Okay, cool, I like your stylization, but one thing I would look out for is uh, the use of these brush strokes here. It looks like you use some kind of blend mode to get that light effect, but I would just be a little bit more cautious of where you're placing it because if the light is coming from the side, you're gonna get a powerful rim light. Like this streak at the front doesn't necessarily make sense to me because that side of the hair would be most likely in shadow. There's also the uh, this bright streak on the back here. Um, I'm not sure where the light is coming from because it appears the rim light is coming from the left side of the composition, but this here is on the right side. Some things to look out for. You want to be a little bit more cautious with the way you apply these strong lighting components. Is she sticking a blade into her... What is going on here? So once again, I'm going to link my how to draw faces video in the description of this video so that you guys can brush up on your proportions because the distance between the hair and the eyebrows is, is very short, okay? And the distance between the eyebrows and the bottom of the nose is very long. And then you come down here, the nose to the chin is again, pretty short. And the mouth is way too close to the chin. 
as opposed to being closer to the nose. I'd make the forehead a little bit bigger, I'd shrink the nose a little bit, and I would bring the mouth up away from the chin. It'll make your character look more natural and more in proportion. That is a gorgeous render. I love the shading on the skin and the blurred background as well as the stylization in the eyes of the character, but usually trees don't grow out of people's backs. You might want to get that checked out. Oh my goodness, her eye is huge, huge. Did you paint that? Oh my goodness, you painted that. This is giving me uh, flashbacks to back when I worked at a gelato shop. You guys are so disturbed. Like what, is there something you want to talk about? Like is there, did something happen to you as a young child? That's cute. I like the rim lighting you did on the side of the face here, it really makes her pop. What I would change actually is, uh, you see the darkness of the hair here, uh, but it kind of fades into this light color. I would just actually make this whole thing dark so that the rim light pops all around. It'll make the edge here really sharp and create a nice level of contrast between the light and the dark. Oh, okay. oh look at that, what a good boy, what a good boy. What? Why would you do that? You could have at least repainted my painting, I mean. You just... Uh. Okay. I, I've had enough. That's enough. Okay, I said I've had enough, but then I kept scrolling, but now I've, I've definitely had enough. All right, so that's it for me, gently roasting your guys' work. I hope you guys got some good advice out of this. I hope you uh, learn from other people's mistakes. I'm just trying to help you guys out by giving you guys some advice. But the kiddos nowadays like it when when people attack each other and roast each other. So that's the only way I'm going to get through to the kids. And again, thank you guys so much for putting your work in here and putting your lives on the line for the entertainment of the people. Keep an eye out on my Instagram page for further announcements of future videos like these. Uh, but with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you guys very much. Please keep creating art. I love seeing your guys' work despite my sassy appearance in these videos. It's all entertainment. Deep down, I'm very proud of you guys. Keep going. Keep at it. You're doing a great job. Thank you so much for watching, and if you want to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys on the next video. I've been standing for like seven hours. This, is, this job is taking a toll on my body. Soon I'm going to end up like this dude right here.